Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we would like to share how to create a two-way ANOVA with replication. Firstly, let's obtain the sum of squares total. We can make use of calculator as long as the calculator with the statistics function. For this calculator, that is the third function. Choose one variable, enter all the values that we have. Firstly, 23 equal, 32 equal, 48 equal, 28 equal, and so for the rest of the values, we have 40, 35, 29, 30, 22, 33, 39, 25, 25, 38, 44, 28, 30, 28, 38, 35, 30, 32, 36, 38. Altogether, we have 24 observations. Press on AC, Shift 1. We need the variation, select 4. Choose the population standard deviation, that is 3. And we need sum of squares, which means that take a square. And altogether, we have 24 observations. Press on equal, and we should obtain the sum of squares for the total. Next, shift 1 again, variation. This time, let's take the mean value. Press on equal, and we should obtain the mean for all these observations. I'm going to store it so that I can recall it easily. Press on Shift Record to store and I will store to X. Let's create a table to obtain all the averages. Let's obtain the average for the first element. We have 23 plus 32 plus 48 plus 28. Press on equal divided by 4 observations. Press on equal and we should obtain the average for the first element. The second element we have 22 plus 33 plus 39 plus 25 equal divided by 4 and we obtain the average for the second element. Next, we have 30 plus 28 plus 38 plus 35 equal divided by 4. Next, 40 plus 35 plus 29 plus 30 equal divided by 4. 25 plus 38 plus 44 plus 28 equal divided by 4. Lastly, 30 plus 32 plus 36 plus 38 equal divided by 4. Next, let's obtain the average for each treatment. First treatment, we have 32.75 plus 29.75 plus 32.75 equal. Altogether, we have 3 blocks for each treatment. So divided by 3. Press on equal and we obtain the average for the first treatment. I'm going to store this value. Shift recall and I will store to A. So let's label as A for the second treatment. 33.5 plus 33.75 plus 34 divided by 3 and obtain 33.75. Let's store to B. Next, let's obtain the average wish for each block. First block, we have 32.75 plus 33.5 and we only have two treatments for each block. So divided by 2. Let's store this value to C. Second block, we have 29.75 plus 33.75 equal divided by 2. Store this value to D. Last block, we have 32.75 plus 34 equal divided by 2. Store this value to E. With all these values that we stole, let's obtain the sum of square for the treatments. We should first determine the square difference for each treatment. That is, alphabet A minus alphabet X square it and we plus the second treatment. Again, alphabet B minus alphabet X. Also, square. Press on equal and don't forget 
we have three blocks and four observations for each treatment. Price are equal, and we should obtain the sum of square for the treatments. Now let's obtain the sum of square for the blocks. Similarly, take the average of each block. So we have C minus alphabet X, and we should square it plus the next treatment. Always remember to place parenthesis alphabet t minus alphabet x also square it plus the last block alphabet e minus alphabet x also square it price are equal and this time since each block we have two treatments and four observations so multiply accordingly price are equal and we should obtain the sum of square for the blocks let's determine the sum of square for the interaction this time we should have a long winded calculation make sure we follow correctly so let's start with opening parenthesis the average for the first element that is 32.75 and we should minus the average for the respective treatment and blocks which means that we should minus alphabet a minus alphabet c and lastly add the average of all that is alphabet x closing parenthesis square it and followed by the second element so we should have 29.75 minus alphabet a minus alphabet t plus alphabet x also square it plus opening parenthesis 32.75 minus alphabet a minus alphabet e plus alphabet x closing parenthesis square it plus the next value 33.5 minus alphabet b minus alphabet c plus alphabet x also square it the next value we have 33.75 minus alphabet b minus alphabet t plus alphabet x also square plus the last value 34 minus alphabet b minus alphabet e plus alphabet x closing parenthesis and square press on equal and we should multiply four since we have four observations or replications for each element press on equal and we should obtain the value for the sum of square for the interaction with these four values we can obtain the sum of square error all within the experiment very simple take total that is 990.5 minus treatment 24 minus blocks 12.25 minus interaction 12.25 press on equal and we should obtain the correct sum of square errors for the degree of freedom since we have two treatments minus one we obtain one for blocks we have three blocks minus one obtain two for interaction is simply the degree of freedom for the treatment multiply the degree of freedom for blocks and we should obtain two for the total since all together we have 24 observations minus one we obtain 23 and now take 23 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 and we obtain the remaining for the arrow to obtain the mean squares very simple take the sum of squares divided by the degree of freedom for example for the treatment we take 24 divided by 1 obtain 24 for blocks we have 12.25 divided by 2 and we should obtain 6.125 on the other hand for the arrow we have 942 divided by 18 press on equal and obtain the value since i have a lot of decimal places if i would like to convert to a fraction i would press on sd and now write this value to this column since this is a fraction with infinite number of decimal places i will store this value to y now let's determine the test statistic for the treatments that is the mean square divided by the arrow that is alphabet y press on equal we obtain the correct value and so for the blocks and interaction so we should have 6.125 divided by alphabet 
y plus on equal every optim the correct value okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you